Hello, so in this video I'm going to explain why you can't get rid of driving anxiety, but you can get rid of it. If you don't know, I work with people all over the world online to help them overcome their fear of driving. The most common thing people say when they contact me is, I want to get rid of my anxiety. I ask them, what's your goal? What's your aim? And they say, I want to get rid of my anxiety. I want to get rid of this fear of driving. The way your mind works is it won't let you get rid of things and here's a way of proving that. I want you now to just get rid of any thoughts in your mind. Clear your mind like you're here on these terrible tracks. Clear your mind. Your mind is an empty void. It's nonsense. No one in the history of the human race has ever been able to get rid of their thoughts. You can't just clear your mind. Do it and see what happens. If you just try and think, well, I'm going to think of nothing. A thought will always come in. Because even if you're thinking about nothing, that means you're thinking about nothing. You can't get rid of your thoughts. And your thoughts are what cause driving anxiety. You may have physical symptoms. You feel physically bad but it's caused by thoughts. So if you change the way you think, you change the way you feel. So you see, yes, you can get rid of driving anxiety. And I use that term myself in my videos and my website because it's what people search for. But it isn't what you actually do. You don't get rid of driving anxiety. What you do is you gain lots of positive things by doing these sessions with me. So I want you now to think of all the positive things in your life that you would gain, not lose, gain by being able to drive. Common ones people say are that could take the children out and the kids would have memories of holidays they'd otherwise be missing out on. You can get a better paying job because you can drive. There are lots of jobs where a driving license is a requirement. Another one, it's just you won't be stressed all the time. So if you could drive, you won't spend your whole life worrying about not being able to drive. That's just three quick examples. I wonder why there's ones you can think of. How would your life improve if you could drive? That's how you have to look at it. So if you say, I've tried to get rid of this and I just can't get rid of it, your mind won't let you get rid of things. That's why people struggle to lose weight, because losing things is bad. Would you want to lose your job, lose your friend, lose a family member? <laughs> your mind's thinking, no, 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 you're not going to lose things. You can't get rid of thoughts and you don't want to lose things. You have to look at it in a positive way. What are you going to gain? What could you do in your life that you can't do now? because you can't drive. Think of all the things you can do when you've got rid of driving anxiety. So you see, that's just one great tip. When people talk about getting rid of things, I know it's a common term, and sometimes I myself slip into saying it, but you don't really get rid of the problem. You gain other things. So focus on what you're going to gain, and you will achieve what you want. Check out these other videos on the screen now for more help with driving anxiety. If you want to book a free consultation call with me, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.